Looking, hit as he throws, ball up in the air, intercepted, fired! Now feeling some pressure, flush to his left, throws back, shoulder, intercepted, fired! 45-40, fired to the 35. He's an all-pro, and he's an old hand now with the Tennessee Titans, which is hard to believe. Number 31, Kevin Byard. Welcome to Titans All Access, and thank you for being our Nissan Insider on the first show of the year. Thanks for having me, Mike. Before we talk about the Giants, can we talk about MTSU retiring your number and them telling you last month about that? Has that all sunk in yet? A little bit. Uh, I think it'll really sink in when I go back to, obviously, Floyd Stadium on uh, September 30th against UTSA. Stand out there on the field with my family and kind of go through all those moments. It'll really sink in, but uh, still to this day, it's just kind of unbelievable a little bit. But to get your jersey retired is something that's special. Obviously, something that's going to live on long after I'm gone. You've only been with the Titans since 2016. But it feels like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? I had guys in the locker room when I was a rookie, that was year six, year seven. I was like, man, it's gonna fly by, it's gonna fly by. And you know, as a rookie, you're not really paying attention. Like, yeah, yeah, this rookie year is pretty long right now. But uh, going into year seven, man, it feel like it just flew by. Obviously seeing the change over in the locker room. Uh, but it's been incredible. It's been an incredible journey. Uh, hopefully I got another seven years still left to play. How did you feel like preseason and training camp went for Kevin Byard? I think every year it's a progression for me uh, with this year being in a, a legit leadership role in my room, being the oldest guy in the room. Not only working on myself in my game, but also working with the young guys. These young guys want to be great. They have a lot of big things they want to accomplish and the standard is very high. So not only am I just, you know, focusing on myself, but focusing on the group, the whole team as a whole to make sure that we're all, you know, clicking on all cylinders, you know, every time we're on the field. Does this have a chance to be a great defense? I absolutely think so. Um, just the guys that we have in our locker room, uh, starting from the front seven all the way to the back end. We understand the magnitude of the talent that we have on our team and on our defense. We all have Super Bowl aspirations, so we have to take everything day by day and just try to win the Super Bowl. Who's the guy in the secondary that's going to jump out at us this year and maybe, I don't want to say surprise, but take a step? I definitely think Amani Hooker is going to take a big step this year. He obviously was a full-time starter, had a really great year, uh, but I'm expecting big things from him. And Christian Fulton as well. Christian Fulton took a step last year, but I think for him, I've talked to him multiple times this offseason saying, I think you have to be the X factor for us on defense. He's the oldest guy in the cornerback room, only in year three. So he has to make sure that you're setting the tempo every single day and leading those guys the right way. Does it feel good that they're sort of building the secondary around you? Yeah, it, it feels weird. It feels weird. Uh, but I just think it's just, you know, one of those things where, you know, I've made plays in, in this game. But the way they're building it, we have some guys that can really play some man coverage. We have guys that can play zone. But I think for me, it helps me be able to be a freelancer out there. I can play free. I can focus on, you know, getting my eyes on the quarterback, trying to make those interceptions like I always do. So uh, hopefully they continue to keep building after me, honestly. The Giants, the opponent, new head coach, new coordinators, the whole thing. How hard is it to get ready for a team like the Giants in an opener when you really don't know exactly what they're going to do? It's always tough because you really don't know what the other team's going to do. Uh, but that's what I've been doing, watching a lot of stuff that Josh Allen did and was successful against us on, watching those things, making sure we're staying on top of those things. But I've been watching a lot of just personnel. I mean, they have a lot of guys that can go out there and make plays with the ball. And obviously, you know, starting with 26, Saquon Barkley is a guy who we have to stop. Yeah, and Saquon Barkley, he's a big back, an excellent runner, but he's really a good pass catcher. Yeah, I mean, a guy like him, you have to treat him like a receiver. You know, a lot of times when you have teams where they put these backs out there in, in empty formations and, you know, corners just out here really not covering him that much, but a guy like him, you have to cover like a receiver. He has great hands. Like you said, great explosive speed, a guy that's really built lower body, a guy that you can't really, it's gonna be hard to make a lot of one-on-one -on -one tackles with him. So where everybody has to be the point of attack. And um, like I said, just excited to get the season kicked off. What do you tell the young guys who haven't done this before? You know, I just tell those guys, man, study as much as you can. But when you get out to game day, play loose, relax. Don't be too tense. Obviously, you know, for some of these guys as rookies, it's gonna be your first time in an NFL stadium playing. It's gonna be loud, it's gonna be intense, but you know, I expect a guy like Roger to come out there and be calm and relaxed. He's played at Alabama. He's played at Auburn. He's been in these loud stadiums. So I'm expecting to go out there, just play cool. Don't get too high. Don't get too low. And just go out there and try to have fun. Kevin Byard, thank you so much for being with us on Titans All Access.